There we are again, another training in our online vitality program. Today we got another specific training for you guys. In this specific training, I'm going to show you how you can learn a pull up and a push up. A lot of people also doing the lessons here experience some issues when they do a pull up or a push up. Simply it's just too heavy or your shoulders hurt or something else is going on that prevents you from doing these exercises. I'm going to show you how gradually get the body ready to actually do a full pull up or a full push up. So this training consists of two sections. Okay, in this push up video, first off we're going to talk about variations, compensations that we see a lot doing a push up. So what might happen doing a push up, what we don't want to see is for instance your hip going to the ground way too much. This happens a lot during the push up. Always try and keep your hip at the same level as your shoulders, as your back. Good way to practice this is by going for regular planks. Go for the plank, strengthen your core and keep the hip a little bit higher. Because also with the plank this happens a lot. Keep the hip a little bit higher, contract your core and keep thinking about it. Very important. Same with the push up itself. Keep thinking about your hip if this is a problem for you. The next thing that happens a lot is uh, too much of an arch in the upper back. So we have a big arch in the upper back. This is something that is pretty hard to spot on yourself. So it is very good to have someone next to you ask them can you see if my body is leveled because that's where we want to be. If you're not, if you are arching a lot in the top of the back, try flatten that out. Do it with a mirror next to you, do it with a stick over your back, uh, ask someone next to you to tell you when you're leveled. This usually just needs a lot of practice. Doing it, repeating it and keep thinking about it. With your own push up, keep thinking about being all the way straight. Last thing that happens a lot doing a push up is that your head moves too much to the front. So when standing in the push up we want to be as straight as we can but usually the head goes to the front a little more. Also this happens a lot, we don't want to see this. Try and correct it. How do you correct this? First off, most important, think about it. Think about what mo motion do you want to make. You want to stay nice and straight, so keep telling yourself, oh, check, where's my head position, check. Very important to do so. Now if you want to strengthen the muscles in your neck a little bit to help keep your head in the right position, a good thing to do is when you're laying in bed, lay on your back, head is on a pillow and just slightly push your head into the pillow. Then make sure that your chin is not pointing outwards. Pull it in, make a double chin. That is how we want to train our neck muscles. On the pillow, slightly pull it in. Don't point up with your chin. Okay, we're gonna to go to the next step. Okay, the next thing that I want to discuss with you, when it comes to the push-up, we have some compensations that we see, that I just showed you, but there's also pretty common to have some pain here and there. I want to go over the three most common pain sites. One is the wrist. In general, anything with the push-up that gives you pain, not always, but most of the time, it is just because you're not used to doing this movement. So if you go on your hands in a push-up position, your wrists are probably not used to this stretch, the stress that you put on it, and that might hurt a little bit. 
Um, a good thing to do is to slowly but surely, progressively, practice. So do it a lot, but then for a short period of time. So don't go stand in a push-up position for an hour, do it five minutes now and five minutes at the end of the day, and repeat that for a couple of weeks. Next to that, if you want to go for the push-up and it still hurts, a good thing to realize, if you have your hands straight to the front, there's a, little bit, there's a little bit more stress on your wrist, but in general, it is the easiest way to do a push-up. Next to that, you can rotate your hands slightly outwards. This will give you less stress in the wrist, but the push-up will be slightly harder. The last one with the least stress on your wrist is when you put your hand all the way the other side. But then again, the push-up will be a lot harder this way. So I would suggest move your hand slightly to the side, turn them slightly outwards. But if you can, and if you feel that there's nothing going on in the wrist anymore, point them to the front. This is where we want to be in the end. Now, another common injury, not an injury, but a common side of pain doing these push-ups is the shoulders. Yet again, usually it is because we are just not used to doing this exercise. We're not used to pushing up from our hands that much. Shoulders start to hurt. Now what can you do to immediately relieve this pain? Instead of having a push-up with your hands to the side and your elbows straight to the side, what you can do is move your hands slightly back and make your elbows go to the side of your body. So right here is a lot less stressful for my shoulder than there. The more you move your elbow to your body, the more you will use your tricep. We want to use our chest muscle. So it is a good way to train around shoulder pain, but we're using different muscles to assist in this movement. So it is totally fine to make your elbows closer to your body, but slightly, slowly but surely move your elbows more outwards, because that's where we want to be in the end. And mainly it is just about doing it. Not for an hour straight, five minutes in the morning, five minutes in the night, and repeat that for a couple of weeks. Now the last thing that I often hear with a push-up is back pain. This is something that happens a lot, but it's also pretty easy to correct. Because usually people who have back pain with the push-up show the too big of an arch in their lower back. This will eventually create pain in the lower back. So how do we fix this? Go from this arch in the lower back to a more straight position. Like I just talked about in the previous video, try and keep your whole body straight and that also goes for your lower back. Do not make your hip nice and high, your low back in a big arch and then your shoulders nice and high. Keep that nice and straight by pulling in your belly button, contracting your core. While doing a push up, you should also be contracting your core. These are one of the most common injuries or pains that I hear doing a push-up. If there's anything else that is bothering you doing a push-up, please let me know and I will try and help. Okay, we're going to go to the corrective exercises. Okay, the third fragment of our push-up video. I'm going to show you a couple of exercises and I'm going to show you where to start off and slowly make it harder and harder and harder. Very important to start with something that feels comfortable. You need to be feeling good and you need to know that the compensations that I showed you in the beginning are not present anymore before you proceed to the next. So what do I mean with that? Before we do an actual push-up on the ground, we're going to do a push-up from the knees. And we're going to do a push-up against a cabinet or the wall. 
So if you go for a push up on the ground and you notice every time your hip goes down more than you want to, then start with an easier push up. And if you notice that here, hey, now I can control my hips, I can push them more up, I can contract my abs how we want it to, if that works out, then you go to the next. If you notice that even with this one, you keep arching your lower back too much, go to the easier ones. So keep in mind, don't proceed too quick. These kind of trainings work best if you do it for a long period of time. So for a full month, every day, small exercises will work best. An important thing that I would like you to realize is that we, use, we should work through the full range of motion. So if you make a push up, you go on the ground, you go down, and from here you start pushing back up, then yes, you are doing a push up. But what I would like to see is for your chest muscle to be stretched out as much as it can and then push up. Generally, you will become much stronger by this and that is something I would like. So train in a quality movement and all the way as far as you, are, as you can. So with the push up, we're gonna go all the way down and all the way up. And these extra centimeters are gonna add up. If you repeat this a lot uh, of times, it's gonna add up and it will give you more effect. So, we're gonna go to the first exercise. To get this full range of motion, I want you to start doing some mobility exercises. So before we actually go to the push-up form, bring your arms to the front and bring the arms to the side. And I want you to repeat this on a horizontal level but also one up, one down, and of course the other way around. So this, you can just repeat a couple times. Try and bring your arms as far back as you can. Try and feel the stretch in your chest muscles. Yet again, this is a small warm up, a small mobility exercise. So don't do it too explosive, but still try and move to that end range. Same thing we can also do laying down on our back, especially if you have a hard time with bringing your arms all the way to the ground. For me, only here in the top feels a little bit restricted, and the bottom and to the side is not a problem. If this is going easy for you then take a bench take something to lie on and while you're laying on it you bring your arms to the side this is a mobility exercise for the chest next to that we're going to do the stretching for the chest we've done it before maybe you still remember put your elbow against the wall and slightly push your body to the front you want to feel your chest muscles stretch Okay, these are the stretches. To start with exercises for a push-up, there are certain things you can do to make it easier for yourself. First thing you can do is where you place your hands, make that surface higher than your feet. So, regular push-up, hands and feet are on the same height. Easier would be if you would place your hands on a little stool, a little bench, higher than your feet. Even easier than this would be placing your hands to the wall. And don't underestimate this, this is still a good training. Even though you're not really working out the chest that hard, you can still pay attention to all those little compensations that we discussed in the beginning. So if you do it against the wall, make sure that your head is back, shoulders are flattened a little bit, your low back is flattened, and then you're going to go for a push-up. This will already work your nerve system, and it will teach your body to stay in a nice position. 
this one goes good, go to a bench that is a little lower. Goes good too, go to a little lower and a little lower until you're all the way on the ground. Um, a good thing to do is like I did last week on the stairs, take the stairs and start at one step. Try and do 12 repetitions there, move one lower, try and do another 12, one lower, another 12, stop. Next time, remember where you started and then start one lower. So every week you're going to go a little bit lower until you're on the ground. This is a very good way to structurally uh, progress your push-up. So we're now going to do some exercises, so let's get this started. First up. Pick an exercise, pick a push-up that is a little bit higher than your feet. We're going to do this for 12 repetitions, three times in a row. Okay, we're going to take a little rest. I hope you see that I try and move all the way till my chest hits the bench. Try and get that full range of motion going. Doing movement, check your position of your body. Move your head a little back, flatten out your shoulders, contract your abs. Keep thinking about all these little compensations because that will benefit you later on. Same height. Don't change too much. Go for a height that feels good for you. If you can keep an eye on all of these compensations, um, then that's good to train on for the first two weeks. We're gonna go again. 12 repetitions, here we go. Okay, then we're going to do this one more time, we're going to take another little break. Good thing to do during your break, if you want to maximally relax your chest, train the opposite muscle. This is something that is used a lot in training but also physical therapy. You want to relax the chest muscle, contract your back muscles. This will give a signal to the chest muscle to relax which will also help them regenerate enough energy to do this exercise again in a good way, in a good form. So what you can do is do some bend over rows with a small weight, don't need, some, don't need no weight. Trying to pull up your arms, contract those back muscles and let them go. Just a couple of times is enough and then we're going to do this last time. Yes, we're going to pick the same surface. Put your hands down, check your posture, head back, abs contracted, and start moving. Chest moves all the way down. Remember, if your shoulders start to hurt, if your wrist starts to hurt, go back to an easier variation. Okay, this is the assisted push-up. Something to start with if the push-up is hard for you. Make sure that your wrist, your shoulders, your back is in a good position before you proceed to a harder one. Now, if you think this is also too hard, another good thing to do is to make a push-up from your knees. You can do this from the ground, here from your knees, and start making push-ups. 
but also like we just did, you can make this from a higher surface. Again, if your hands are higher than your knees, the push-up will be a little bit easier. So, from your knees at, the, at a height that you feel comfortable with, this is where you're going to do the push-up. Yet again, pay attention to all those little compensations, pull in your belly button, straighten out your chest, head it back a little bit, and move all the way through. This is also a very good way to practice your push-up. We're going to do three sets of 12 repetitions. I'm going to do it from the ground. You pick a nice option that suits you best. Okay, we're going to do the first 12. Okay, I hope that went good for you. If you feel anything in your shoulders or in your wrists, go for an easier position for now. Trust me, work with a position where you can do the quality movement, do that for a week or two, and then proceed to a harder one. So if you want to do this against the wall, it is totally fine to go from your knees and start slowly with the push-up here. Not a problem, don't underestimate, don't think that you're not doing enough, because you are. And a lot of the changes that I want to create is not necessarily muscle growth, but it's more neurological. It is more that your brain learns how to control your muscles in a way that you can do a push-up. That is what is going to happen in the first give and take 10 weeks of training. A lot of neurological changes and that's what we want. Okay, we're going to go for the second set of 12 repetitions from the knees. Pick a height that you feel comfortable with. Here we go. Okay, take a little rest again. Last time that we're gonna do this set, just like we did before, also now. If you feel that your chest muscles are working good already, they're get, getting a little tired. In the rest, contract your opposite muscle, so your upper back muscle, by just pulling your shoulder blades back, or by making a bend over row. By contracting the opposite muscle, the chest muscles will relax as much as they can and thus heal a little better, restore the energy a little better. So for this last set, you have enough energy to do it in a quality way. So get back in position from your knees, pick the height that you feel good with and we're going to start. Okay, this was our first exercise. Um, this is a little progression on how to teach the body to do a regular push-up. Go from the knees. Find a place to put your hands up higher. Start working out. Three sets of 12 repetitions. Take a little rest and the next day you do it again. Don't go for an hour straight for chest training. 
that won't work. Small trainings, but a lot of doing it, practicing. Start with an easy one for a good week or two. Make sure that you can keep your body position very easy and then proceed to a lower surface. Or maybe same height, but from the toes. One of those, see how that goes. If you have difficulties with this, you want some help, let me know and I will help you with this. Together we will find what exercise suits you best and then we're going to work to a full push-up. You can contact me at mark at physiobastians.nl or brightlands at physiobastians.nl Okay, I'm going to show you some variations of the push-up just for if you've done a couple weeks of training, it goes good, how can you make it even more exciting? Let's go! I'm gonna stop. I'm gonna stop.